finally the horn goes. Van
It doesn't take much to see how much hunger there is in the community. Even a small act can make a big difference. So, um... So, I asked you about Sam Watts in the documentary. A woman has cancer, she's fighting for her life, she gets up and says, thank you, Floyd, for your inspiration. What is that? Well, uh, you know, hey, 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 stop that game. I'm doing an interview. Oh. So, well, basically, um, far as, far as, far as, uh, far as giving back, you know, that's what it's all about. It's all about giving back, whether it's when it's for a great cause. And if I can give back my time to it, inspire and help, that's what I'm going to do. You know, if I can, uh, you know, I just want people to continue to believe, but we have to fight, like I said before, we have to fight this disease, uh, cancer, by everything starts with our eating habits. You have to eat a lot better, drink a lot of water, and exercise. You know, um, I believe in I believe in natural healing. Even though I just got surgery, you know, I'm kind of upset about getting surgery. I rather rather I would have I would have rather done it the natural way and naturally heal than to to you know to open up my body. So you know, um, I think things happen, and, and you live and you learn. How, how serious was the shoulder for you, Floyd? I mean, you had to get surgery. I know he bothered you for the Pacquiao fight. And how did you? How were you able to deal with it? Well, not just well, not just the Pacquiao fight. I've been I've had this injury almost ten years now. I've almost had this shoulder injury for almost ten years now, or more. And of course, Courtney, she's sitting right here. She know that I had this injury for since she's been working with me for the longest. You know, I've done cryotherapy for my shoulder, done cryotherapy. Um, you know, I can never get a massage on this side. Never, you know, most of the time I get massages, it's like right here or on my back or anywhere on the arm or anywhere on the body, but right here on my right shoulder. But, you know, things happen, shit happens. You know, we live and we learn. When you think about the game today, Floyd, and what you're leaving behind, do you think you change it because Everybody, every time I talk about the boxing game, they say you changed it. Everybody wants to do what you did. Do you feel you did that? I'm just very, very appreciative and very thankful. You know, I don't really have anything negative to say about uh, all the legendary champions that paved the way for me to be one man. But I think there's a lot of there's a lot of legendary champions that's upset and jealous um, at my accomplishments. You know, um, I done it the smart way. I didn't I didn't believe in taking any punishment. It's not cool to get hit. I mean, I mean, um, call it boring, but call it smart. You know, um, you know, as far as my career, I was able to get involved in get involved in the sport, um, dominate the sport for 20 years, and uh, made you know make a lot of money, which put me in a position to put my family in a comfortable position, which is a great thing. Um, you know, I'm still learning about the fight game as far as, you know, business. And I, I can just see that the promoters that came before me were crooks. You know, were, you know, was crooks. Um, 49 fights. Um, I own all my masters. So, um, very, very smart businessman. Um, you know, Al Hamm is a very, very shrewd businessman, um, a guy who come from Harvard, but it takes brains to want to surround yourself with brains. That's why, that's what makes my team so powerful and so strong. And, you know, when I look back on my career, I'm happy with how everything has went. You know, I'm happy with how everything went, with every obstacle that I went through in life. You know, um, I'm thankful for my mother, my father and my my grandmother because you know that's why I'm the man of great char of great character today. But um you know like I say I'm still learning. I'm still learning. And that's the only thing we can do.
we can we can continue to grow mentally if we can if we can no longer grow physically. You know, one thing I wanted to ask you about, and I think I asked you about it before, was uh, you say you've been in the game 20 years, you're retiring, and Kobe Bryant been in the game 20 years and he's retiring. Uh -huh. Do you see a lot of comparisons between you two as far as the work ethic and what you guys have been able to accomplish well, me and Kobe, about his career? Um, Kobe Bryant is... Um, what don't matter if it's a Dasani water. Of course, y'all know I like to take the paper off, but... <laughs> It's, it's Coca-Cola and me and Warren Buffett is, you know, good friends. So it's okay for me to promote my friends. Drink. Um, Kobe Bryant, exceptional athlete. He's won numerous, numerous, you know, championships. Not just NBA championships, Olympics. I think a, a couple, he went to Olympics more than once. But um, great athlete. Uh, great person. Been through a lot of obstacles in his life. Been through a lot of things that he had to overcome, you know, kind of like myself. But um, he's still standing. He's still going strong. And, you know, even though I know that this is his last year, hopefully he has a great year. Now, Floyd, I got to ask you this. Pay-per-view. When Mayweather's involved, it's record numbers. Uh -huh. How come nobody's able, in the whole world of boxing, nobody's able to get close to what you were doing?